Hi, my name is Larry and you're watching Learn It With Larry and in this episode, we're gonna show you the camera page from the new Atom software update version 8.2. So let's just dive on to it. Now, I just wanna show you my setup right here. So I have multiple pocket cinema cameras. So I have 4Ks, I'm shooting it in 4K pocket as well. And I have a 6K camera right over here. I'm basically running full four camera setup and all of them are connected to my Atom Mini via HDMI, of course. I also have here my, of course, my microphone that's connected to my camera. I don't really care about the microphone part, but you know, the, the star of our episode is the pocket camera. 4Ks and 6Ks. Now, there are two important features that they've added to this software update and one of which is the ability for your pocket camera to provide you a tally signal. For your information, a tally signal is essentially a signal that your camera provides the presenter to know which camera in, let's say, in the four camera productions currently on air and which one is in preview as well. So given that, you have basically two types of tally light. You have a program tally light that gives you a red signal. So I'm just gonna switch to say this camera, which is camera number three, and that gives me that red signal right here. Now, if I switch back to my camera number one, right there, I'm back. So you see that this provides you a green tally signal in front. So for a presenter, that's very important. So I'll know which of the cameras are currently on air. Now, what if I switch to other cameras? In that case, if you are looking at this, if I switch to another camera, uh, let's say I switch to camera number four, you will see that this doesn't have any signal at all. So it's just blank. So that's basically your third tally signal. So you have your red, which is program or you're on air, green if you're in preview, and nothing if it's not currently considered for the next shot or not currently on air so again that's a very 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 cool and important feature that a lot of our users have been asking as well the second feature is the camera control and this is where it gets really interesting now if we go to our software you will see here that i have my software control so what that means is that okay right now we're looking at camera number one Okay, this is my camera number one, and this is my camera number one. Now, I have the ability to change the iris. See, I can bring it down, make it darker. I can lift it and just open up the iris. And additionally, I have access to my black level as well. So if I need to add more black, I can have that. If I need to reduce black level, I can have that as well. In the camera, you have your ISO setting. In the software, you also have your gain setting. So it's very similar. So I have the ability to adjust the ISO or the gain level. So I'm doing it in two dB steps. So now I'm at plus 20 dB and I can just go back to zero dB and that goes down up to negative values as well. So, you know, that's again, a very, very interesting feature for you to, you know, for you to use during your production. So I just put back in zero dB. I have the ability to change my shutter speed. I can change my, uh, my color temperature as well. So as you can see, I'm adjusting it here and my image follows. So if I go back, I just bring it back to 5,600 for now. So those are very, very cool features. Let's say in, in this case, I have a shot. For example, I'll, I'll switch to my dog happily enjoying our work from home status. And as, as you can notice, he is not in focus. So now I can go to my camera and then adjust it or from the software, you can actually click on autofocus and it will focus that specific camera. Isn't that cool? That's really cool. That's really, really cool. And I can also have some, um, let's say, adjust the focus manually. So right now I'm adjusting this wheel right here and I am basically adjusting the focus and if things gets messed up I can just hit autofocus and then that goes back 
know, focus. That's interesting. That's really, really interesting. So I'm go back to my camera number one, and then let's say in this camera shot, um, I want to achieve some sort of look. Okay, I want to have a specific look that I want to show. Um, so how do I do that? As I've said from the beginning, you are given a DaVinci Resolve style color correction. So this is how it looks like. So if I open this camera one section right here, I can have access to my lift gamma and gate. So that's basically your shadows, your middles, and your highlights. So anything on the shadow end of your color spectrum, you are adjusting it using the lift. If you're adjusting anywhere from the mid-tones, that's basically your gamma, that's where your skin tone will fall in, and gain are your highlights. You also have the ability to adjust the contrast, saturation, so let's say if I want to saturate the shot, I can do that just by adjusting the slider. If I add the saturation and I want to add more contrast to my shot, so I can do that and that's basically my shot. And let's say I want to use that same setup or use that same color scheme to the other cameras. So just to exaggerate the shot, let's say I want my shot to be bluish. So I'm, again, I'm adjusting this and I turn it into a colder, you know, bluish shot like this. Now, I don't have to adjust every other camera in my chain because what I can do is I can just hit copy and go to the camera, my target camera, which is again, in this case, my dog's shot. And I can just hit the settings again and then click paste. Now, the blue shot of me is basically the same as that. Of course, you need to tweak a bit to adjust on difference in lighting and difference in lens position, but you get the point. That's that's a very, very cool feature. I love it. That's your Atom software controls camera page. This feature will only work with pocket cameras, uh, both 4Ks and 6Ks, and available using the latest software update 8.2. For, for Atom switchers. I hope you enjoyed this. We really love that feature and I want you to, to make the most out of your production using this feature as well. If you have more questions about that or Blackmagic Design in particular, you know where to reach us. And if you haven't, please like and subscribe to our page for you to have access to more videos like this. And again, this is Larry. Thank you for watching.